Hi, my name is Rick Sanchez. I'm with a company called Tractor Tip Equipment, and what we have for sale here today is an Ingersoll Rand BR843C. The eight on, in the nomenclature on this on this particular model means an 8,000 pound, 43 foot means its actual ma uh, maximum height. <clears throat> what we're gonna do in this video is we're gonna talk a little bit about the mechanics of this particular machine in the first clip, the operating specs in the second, and we'll write it and run it in the third. If you buy this machine from me or some of the others we have for sale, we've got some mini excavators, some straight mass forklifts, box blades, compactors, some excavators. Um, we've got these uh, little Mechalac, uh, I've got two of those. Those are brand new. They got two year warranty on them. And uh, they're just handy as heck to have on a job site. You'll wonder why you've never uh, bought one before. The serial number of this machine is uh, 1000, I mean, I'm sorry, 17429. I'm going to leave that last digit blank. This unit currently has 1152 hours on a service meter, but uh, I will say that we do use this forklift, so the hours might uh, accumulate a little bit. Not much, we don't use it all day long every day, but we do use it occasionally. Um, a pr price on a new machine like this these days, I don't know, is well over a hundred thousand. Um, I'm not even sure. Um, the widest point on this machine is eight foot six inches wide at the tires. The tallest point is the top of this. Actually, it's this right here. When this thing is in, in transport profile, and that's uh, eight foot uh, one inch. The transportation link from the end of this bumper right here to the front of the fork face is 21 feet. As far as the history of this unit goes, this machine, like almost every machine we purchase, is an original owner Dallas, Texas machine. I say that because it essentially is a rust-free machine. I mean, you'll see where, you know, the paint's flecked off and the rainwater's kind of gotten to it, but it in no way, shape, or form is rust-pervasive. It doesn't even have rush where the paint's flecked off so um just about every machine we purchase comes from one of about 30 different large contractor municipality that we deal with here in the metroplex um this machine is no different um we're 300 miles from the ocean and the, uh, so, and we're far enough south, so the only salt we ever see is the salt on our kitchen tables and we, uh, we try to stay away from that, so. Um, just about every machine we purchase comes from one of about 30 different large contractor and municipality that we deal with here in the Metroplex. This machine is no exception. Um, this machine is actually, uh, kind of a friend of a friend. He bought it, he started a roofing company. We've done a lot of business with him over the years and uh, he never really got the roofing company off the ground so it pretty much sat for a long time. We, uh, we actually sold him a flatbed truck way back when and um, he just never got the roofing company going. So he had this machine, he had a few jobs so he did use it occasionally but it was mostly non-used for many, many years. Um, you know, before I purchase a machine, I have a couple of mechanics go out and inspect it. If they say everything's good with the machine, then I personally, I mean, I sent Perth Provencia to go out and inspect it. And then if he says everything's okay, then I personally go out and I inspect it before I write a check. So, uh, these machines, if anything's wrong with the unit, I have, I have them fix whatever's wrong. The, the guy that I'm buying the machines from. And once he has it all fixed, then we start the process all over again. So these machines are three and four times vetted before I write a check. Um, as far as options go, uh, this machine has a coupler here. If we have the chance, we'll, we'll show you guys how that coupler works. Uh, most telehandlers, not all of them, but most of them are four-wheel drive. This, mach this machine is no exception. It is a four-wheel drive machine. 
and we'll demonstrate that in a push test. Uh, as you can see, it's a mostly a closed cap, so when you're working out in the rain or whatever, you can actually put a door on this. Um, if it were my machine, I'd have a perf is a real good fabricator. I'd, I'd have him put a door on this thing for me and rig it out. But um, the tires are solid. That's another option. Does this one have a battery disconnect? I don't remember. This one does not. It does not have a battery disconnect. So um, th this engine here, this is a Cummins engine. It's a QSB 4.5. Uh, it's 110 horsepower. This machine has a 35 gallon fuel tank which will run you 25 to as many as 40 hours of operation depending on what you're doing. All the fluid levels on this unit are where they should be. This machine is mechanically sound. There's no cracks or welds anywhere on the work equipment. This one's got a three-speed transmission, right, Chris? It does. Yeah, it's a three-speed transmission, forward and reverse. It's a soft power shift transmission, so you just switch the gears. Uh, top speed on this machine is 20 miles an hour. Brake stop it on a dime. Again, this is a four-wheel drive machine. And uh, these tires are 13.0-24s. Uh, are uh, The, uh, the drivetrain on this machine, the hydraulics are plenty strong. I mean, we'll do a push test and you'll see that all four of these tires will, will pull. So it's got plenty of tractive effort. Again, the hydraulics are strong. Um, the, all of the pins and bushings are tight. There's no deflection or any kind of problem in this, in this uh, hinge pin area right here. The maximum lift height is uh, 43 inches. I mean, 43 feet. It's These, forks. these forks are about 48 inch forks. Now we do have some extensions that'll work on these forks. This is an 11,000 pound lift. Those are eight foot forks and they will work on that, that other uh, telehandler right there. Now, I'm not selling those with the telehandler. If you want them, they'll be extra. Um, I guess that's about it. First, you want to add anything else to that? Well, it's a uh, quick and it's the way it moves around very easily. It's very uh, Good nimble forklift got plenty of power so I'm well using it when we need it. Okay, yeah, we're gonna run it in the next clip.
happens a lot of times when you're uh, way up there and that's 43 feet in the air and he sucked it in too fast. So it'll want to vibrate on you. But it, if you had weight that high, you wouldn't just suck it in really fast. I accidentally hit a button on my phone to stop the video. I'm showing the steering options now. That's our tight radius steer. That's your crab steer. Hey, Perf, put it in the tight radius and uh, do a push test. Is it in first gear? Is it in first? 